This is part 40 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to check if an event is already bound using jQuery. First, let's understand why is it important to check if an event is already bound. If you want to prevent attaching event handler multiple times, then you'll have to check if an event is already bound. Let's see what's going to happen if we attach event handler multiple times. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here we have a button element with ID BTN. Within our jQuery ready function, let's find the button element. Let's use the jQuery on function and associate click event handler. So when we trigger the click event, we want to call this anonymous function. And all we want this function to do is display this message saying button clicked. So let's make a copy of this. Notice at the moment we've got two click event handlers attached to the same button element. Let's run this. And when we click the button, as you might expect, we get the alert twice. That's the first one, that's the second one. That's because we have attached the click event handler twice to the same button element. So let's see how to prevent that from happening. To prevent that from happening, let's first detect if click event is already bound to the button element. So to detect if the click event is already bound to the button element, in jQuery, we've got a function called dollar dot underscore data. And if you look at this function, the first parameter is the element parameter. So this parameter specifies the element for which we'll have to check if a given event is already bound. Okay, and remember, this element is the raw DOM element and not the jQuery object. Now, when we do something like this, dollar hash btn. So what is this going to do? This is going to find this button element, wrap that in a jQuery object, and return that jQuery object back. So what we have in this jQuery object variable is actually a jQuery object and not the raw DOM element. Now, if you want the raw DOM element, then you can use this get function. So this is going to give us the raw DOM element. So let's create a variable. Let's name this raw DOM element equals whatever this get method returns. And let's pass this raw DOM element to this data function. And we want events data. So let's specify that. So this data method is going to return us some event data. Let's store that in a variable. Let's call that event object. Now, if we don't have any event you know, attached to the button element, then in this case, this button, uh, this data function is going to return nothing. So this variable event object will be undefined. So we have to check if that event object variable is not equal to undefined. If it's not equal to undefined, then we know that we've got some events attached to the button element. And specifically, we are interested in checking if the click event is already bound. So I'm going to say if event object dot click not equal to undefined. Okay? If that's the case, then we know that we already have the click event uh, handler attached to the button element. So in that case, we're just going to say click event already exists, else let's say click event does not exist. Okay. Now look at this. We already have a click event handler attached here. So when we run this, we should get this alert saying click event already exists. So let's go ahead and run this. And look at that. It says click event already exists. On the other hand, if we comment this, and when we run this now, look at that. Click event does not exist. So this else part, it's going to come to the else part if the click event does not exist. So what we can do is we can actually put this code in that else part right here. And let's uncomment that. So now when we go ahead and run this, you know, click event does not exist. It's going to attach the click event handler. And when we click the button, it says button clicked. Now on the other hand, if you have the same piece of code, you know, somewhere up here, 
That means if you have already attached the click event handler, so this is going to attach the click event handler. In this case, it's going to come to the if block, display this message, and then it's not going to attach another click event handler. So when we run this, we should get that alert, click event already exists, and when we click the button, we should get only one uh, JavaScript alert saying button clicked. All right. Now, at the moment, we are passing only one event, uh, or we are associating only one event to the button element. Let's actually use a JSON object and associate multiple events. Let's associate first the click event. So when we trigger the click event, we want to call this anonymous function. And let's display a message saying, button clicked. And similarly, we want to associate mouse over. And when mouse over event occurs, let's say we want to change the background color of the button to yellow. And to do that, let's use the CSS function. And the property we want to change is background color. And let's change that to yellow. All right. So now let's make a copy of this one. And let's associate mouse out event as well. So on mouse out, let's change the background color to white. OK, so now we've got three events attached to the button element. OK, so let's actually throw in a breakpoint here. And let's run this in debug mode. So at the moment, I'm using Internet Explorer, so we can debug the script. Look at this. When I press F10, since we have got three events attached, click mouse over, mouse out, this event object will contain information about that three events. Click, mouse out, mouse over. First of all, event object itself is not undefined. It has got some data within that. And since we have click, mouse over, and mouse out events attached to the button element, so that the event um, object contains information about them. Click, mouse out, mouse over. All three of them are not equal to undefined as well. So if click is not equal to undefined, then we know that click event is already bound to the button element. Similarly, if you want to check if mouse over um, you know, it's already bound or not, you can use mouse over, not equal to undefined. Okay. On the other hand, let's actually stop debugging. Now, if we comment all these, then we don't have any events at all attached to this button element. So since we don't have any events attached, this data function is going to return nothing. Okay, because we don't have any events data. So this variable event object should be undefined. So let's run this in debug mode once again. Look at this. When I hover the mouse over event object, it says undefined. Since it's undefined, it's going to the else part, and it's going to display the alert. Click event does not exist. So let's press F5, and look at this. Click event does not exist. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is this is jQuery way of detecting if click event um, is bound to a button element in this case. Now, since this is jQuery way, this only works if you have attached click event handler using jQuery. This will not work if you have attached event handlers using raw JavaScript or by using HTML element attributes. Let me explain what I mean. So at the moment, you know, we don't have any click event handler attached. We know how to attach a click event handler. There are several ways of doing that in jQuery. We can use the shorthand functions. We can use on function or bind function, etc. Now, another way to attach click event handler is by using element attributes. So element has got an attribute on click. And we can specify the function that we want to call when the click event occurs. So here we are using element attributes. Let's create a function here. Let's actually name this click handler. And let's display the alert saying button clicked. And now we want this to call this function when click event occurs. So here we are associating click event handler to the element using element attribute. Now look at this. When we run this, we are still going to get a message saying click event does not exist. So this code that we have here will only work if we have attached event handlers using jQuery. OK? And since here we are attaching the event handler using element attribute, that's why it says so. But when we click the button, we get that 
we get that alert button clicked because there is a click event handler. So this is one way attaching click event handlers by using element attributes. We can also use the raw JavaScript to attach event handlers, right? So let's find the button element. So let's call this variable button element equals we can use raw JavaScript document dot get element by ID and the ID of the button is btn and let's use that button element and use the function add event listener and we want to associate click event handler and the function that we want to call is click handler that is this function right so here again we are attaching click event handler using raw JavaScript but this code will not detect that okay so let's go ahead and run this one more time look at that we'll get the alert saying click event does not exist but then when we click the button look at that there is an event handler and this code is not able to detect that because we are associating click event handler using raw JavaScript here now another way to prevent attaching event handler multiple times is by using jQuery off and on methods let me explain what I mean now if your goal is to just attach click event handler once you don't want to bother you know to detect if the click event is bound or not your ultimate goal is to attach only one click event handler to a given element for example in this case button then what you can do is use off and on methods so let me show you what I mean so find the button element using the ID selector and I'm going to call off function first and what is the purpose of this off function? It's going to remove the event handlers. Now, I want to detach or remove any click event handler, uh, you know, that exists for the button. So it's going to remove all click event handlers. And then I'm going to use on function and then associate click event handler. And when click event is triggered, we want to call this function, um, let's say alert. button clicked all right so at the moment we don't have any event handlers attached so let's make a copy of this get rid of this off so now here we are attaching a click event handler using on function but here we are calling off so it's going to remove any click event handlers even if we do it like three times you know if we don't have this look at this when we run this we will get alert three times right look at this when we click the button button clicked first second and third because we are attaching the click event handler three times but if we have this code this off method is going to remove all those click event handlers for that button and this on method will add just this one click event handler so when we run this we only get one alert button clicked that's it thank you for listening and have a great day